how do you solve these challenges? You know, so they've got an education challenge, they've got a resource challenge, um, and they, they, they're clearly looking for more leads. Right? That's more, more opportunities for their business. How do you solve those? Well, what we do is we, provide, we come in and we ask questions. We want to start off by gathering as much information and details as much as possible. I like to call that discovery. Right? Discovery. We've got to discover Perfect. what's going on. The form that I have them fill out is called a discovery form. Yeah, so, there you go. <laughs> so we're on the same page. Um, so what I do is I ask as many questions. I want to find out about them, about their business, about their competitors, their industry, everything and anything I possibly can gather. I take all that information and knowledge, then I start doing my research. I, I go and do my due diligence. I find out as much as possible. I, I look at their competitors. I see how they're doing, what they're doing, how my prospective client is working and what they're doing. Then I come up with a proposal for them. And then I, I, I present it to them. Well, okay, so say I accept the proposal. Again, what are you doing? To, I mean, uh, you have keywords. How are you managing? How are you solving their, the challenge for them is more leads, right? How are you solving that? So it all starts with the website, in my opinion. If you do not have a well-performing website, whatever I do is nice. I can get you to the first page of Google and have you be visible for people to find you. But if it doesn't convert, it's useless. Yes, you got to make sure you have a conversion tool, website conversion tool, and then you send traffic. Then I send traffic. That's where the SEO portion comes in. Now that traffic can come through their website, okay? So ranking their website, ranking their social media sites. If they have a Facebook, LinkedIn, um, any other uh, YouTube. social media. YouTube. YouTube yeah. is incredibly powerful right now. YouTube is the number two search engine right behind Google. And so if they have videos, um, I can optimize those videos, get them ranking for specific keywords that they're looking for. Therefore, not only will their video pop up when someone does search, but sometimes when you search, you see a video that comes in, most of those get clicked. Video is extremely powerful. And, so how and important is it for that. video from, from, an, from an optimization standpoint, website driving traffic? Mm -hmm. Where does that stand in the priority? For me, it's one of the top two or three. Um, I highly recommend encourage, gently push uh, my clients to, to have video. And uh, it's not only engaging to have on their website, it's also a very good way of converting um, prospective clients into actual clients. Conversion, yeah. Conversion. Uh, I believe the last uh, statistic I saw, it said that 64% of decision makers Pick up the phone and actually call the business if there's a website on. Excuse me, if there's a, if video, there's a video on their website. Right. So I don't know. I, I almost wonder if that isn't number one. I mean, what? It, exactly. I mean, uh, again, video is extremely, extremely for driving powerful traffic to for the driving website. Driving traffic, absolutely, yes. And then converting once somebody gets on the website. That's right. Right. That's yes. amazing. Awesome. So.